Oh yeah, it's Chimichanga's time. Next go give it to you, he go give it to you. Next go give it to you, he go give it to you. First we gonna fuck, then we gonna fall. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Deadpool. So, Deadpool is from first time director Tim Miller. The film stars Ryan Reynolds, Monica Bakarin, I believe that's how you say it, TJ Miller, and Ed Skrine, I believe that's how you say it. So, Deadpool is about Wade Wilson. He was a former Special Forces operative, but now he's happy with Monica Bakarin until one day he finds out that he has cancer. So, when he wants to find the cure for cancer, he has Ed Skrine as well as others helping him to get the cure for the cancer. But when something goes wrong, that's when Wade Wilson finds out that he has all of these powers and from there he becomes the Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool. So I was really anticipating to see Deadpool. I remember when we got to see Deadpool in X-Men Origins Wolverine, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I actually wasn't bothered by how Deadpool was in that film. Um, maybe it didn't bother me because I saw him more as Baraka, and you know, that probably didn't bother me for that reason, but I could see why people were really, really ticked off with that. But then I saw that Hulk versus Wolverine little 30 minute movie. It's not even a movie, it's like a little special. And I guess you could say technically, that's when I really saw Deadpool for the first time, when I saw that little special. And then, you know, I played the Deadpool video game um, last year, like during the summer, as soon as I bought this, I was playing this game. I'm not a comic book reader. I don't keep up with the stuff, so, it's thanks to this game that I'm able to have knowledge of Deadpool and I had a blast playing it. And now that I've seen Deadpool, a movie I was very excited to see. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was let down by Deadpool. Now, I know a lot of people love this movie. If you love this movie, seriously, that's awesome. I wouldn't want someone to not enjoy this film. That's great that people love this movie, but me, I didn't love it, nor can I even say I like the movie. But of course, there are plenty of things to like from Deadpool. And one of the things I did really like is that the filmmakers do appreciate the source material of this movie. They got down what Deadpool is really all about. And you could tell just from the beginning of this movie that there was a lot of passion. And even if I wasn't a fan of this movie, I did see how much passion and hard work went to this movie. And I really do appreciate what they tried to achieve in this movie. Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool. He just adds so much personality to Deadpool, the mannerisms that Deadpool has. And then when Deadpool is fighting, that was also very cool to watch. So Ryan Reynolds, I do think he was the perfect choice to play Deadpool or return as Deadpool. He is Deadpool, definitely. And I can't see anyone playing Deadpool quite like Ryan Reynolds. Morena Bakarin was really great as Wade Wilson slash Deadpool's love interest. I really did believe her as a love interest. How they handled the romance plot in this movie and how it was executed, I thought it was honestly very well done. I was really into their storyline and you do really believe in their love. And this film does have some nice heartwarming moments to it, some natural moments that surprised me. Ed Skrine, he plays this antagonist named Ajax. I actually really liked him in this film. Now sure, I would say that maybe they could have used him just a little bit more, but really that's not even a flaw because he is in the film a good amount and when he does show up, he is really good and he definitely does do a better job acting here than he did in the transporter refueled because the transporter refueled i thought he was decent you know he did what he could but definitely in deadpool he was really good in here tim miller this is his first film he ever directed and for this being his first time 
He did a pretty damn good job directing this film. This film is really well directed. A lot of really cool shots. The framing was very focused the whole entire time as I was watching the film. You could tell that he wanted to bring the world of Deadpool slash the X-Men characters, which I'll get to in just a moment. But you could tell that he really wanted to bring Deadpool alive and it was thanks to his really great direction. He knew what he was able to do and he was able to pull off just, you know, bringing Deadpool to life. And then speaking of the X-Men characters, you do have Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead making appearances in this film. And I really enjoyed those characters personally. Whenever they showed up on screen, I really enjoyed just watching them. Some of the humor I did think was very clever. Some of the humor was very well written. I did get some very good laughs, especially when the film did get to the breaking the fourth wall jokes. Those are the jokes that definitely definitely hit home run with me the most whenever they would break the fourth wall because of how self-aware of they are in the superhero world. The action sequences, there's not a whole lot of them, but when the action is there in the movie, it is really awesome. I had a blast whenever there's an action scene in this movie because it's just so well filmed there's great choreography and it's just a whole ton of fun to watch the cinematography in this film is also really great i loved how the film was shot it is very focused throughout there's not a moment where i felt like it was unfocused or the color schemes were off i thought the color schemes were pretty much spot on and the last positive i do have with deadpool is that the music choices are awesome Really love the music choices in this film because whatever they would play during this movie, it honestly did fit so well. And Junkie XL, credit to him, he really did a great job creating the score for this film. But now this is the part where I now have to give you my problems with Deadpool. And one of my problems with this film is how this film is structured. Like you go from the present to the past, the present to the past, it got extremely repetitive and how it would switch from present to past, honestly, it did feel a little bit out of place. My next problem with this film is unfortunately the humor. Now, as I said in my pros, some of the humor was very well written. Some of the humor actually got some good laughs out of me. But for the most part, I did feel like the humor really didn't work. It felt forced for the most part. There's even times where I would even feel a little awkward sitting in the theater because of how they would execute the humor. There's even one joke that I felt they dragged a little too long where I was just like, okay, can we just move on to the next scene already because it's not getting funny. It's ironic when I actually laughed more in the Deadpool video game than I did laughing in the Deadpool movie. I just don't think the humor personally for the most part had as good of an execution as the movie may have thought it had. My next problem with this film is that I do feel like it spends way too much time on the origin because the film uses most of its running time on the origin when some of the running time could have been spent more on some more Deadpool awesomeness because there really is not a lot of action in this film. You only really get two big action set pieces that's in the beginning and the other ones in the end and then you get an action montage which is in the middle of the movie. So that's why I feel like this movie didn't really use its running time to its full potential because that is one of the things that makes Deadpool well, Deadpool, just him being this violent, over-the-top anti-hero. And that's what was really missing in this film. There really wasn't enough action with Deadpool. And that was a bummer for me because whenever there was action, I was having a great time with this film. Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. I really enjoyed those characters, but they were completely underused in this film. They were really put to the side and I just felt like the movie didn't use them as well as they could have. It's honestly just a shame that as much as I enjoy these characters, they weren't given enough stuff to do in this movie. As for the storyline of this movie, 
it doesn't feel like there's really much to it. Like the writing in the film is just okay. You could tell the writers tried to do what they needed to do to give us a story for this film. And I respect what this film did try to do, you guys. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. But it just felt like there wasn't much to the storyline. Like the writers definitely did try and I give them credit for trying. But the writing may have been not that great because the storyline itself was way, way too basic. And look, I know Deadpool is not all about being complex. I wasn't expecting complexity, first of all. I wanted at least a good storyline to have me invested in the movie. And really, instead of a good, simple storyline, I just got a okay simple storyline. T.J. Miller, I know a lot of people really like in this film and I can see why. I do think he gave a very good performance in this film, but his character, I didn't really care for his character. There may have been a few things he said that I laughed at, but really for the most part, I wasn't really laughing at his character. Most of the things he says didn't really hit for me and that's honestly a shame because I really like TJ Miller. I think he's a funny dude. I didn't really feel this strong friendship between him and Wade Wilson. Their friendship was just there for me and I wish that I connected more with their friendship. He wasn't really all that good of a friend of Wade Wilson to be honest so I kind of even question why is he even a friend of Wade Wilson's in the first place because he's not really that great of a friend. The side villains in this movie they are as interesting to watch as a piece of wood like yeah they have the personality of a piece of wood they were just there to get Deadpool and that was just it they're completely forgettable the main antagonist sure I think what matters is that the main antagonist was really good but when it came to the side villains they were just whatever to me. And the last problem I had with Deadpool, unfortunately, is that I didn't really feel like this movie used its R rating to its full advantage. It wasn't really as balls to the wall violent as I thought it was going to be. It had shots here and there where it was like violent, but there wasn't really a whole lot of that to me. So overall, you guys, this is another one of those movies where I have a different opinion from the majority, and I'm really sad to say it, but I honestly was very let down by Deadpool. I will say it is a decent at best movie. It's entertaining, I wasn't bored watching this movie or anything. I could say technically I was entertained, but the movie didn't deliver what I was hoping it would. It respects the source material of Deadpool, and I really love that. I love the amount of passion and hard work that went into this movie, but you need more than just having source material to the character being done right. You need a good storyline. You need really good execution, and you need really good humor because most of the humor really wasn't that great, and unfortunately, Deadpool didn't really deliver lever on those levels in my opinion. The more I think about it, the more I honestly forget about it. It's not a memorable comic book movie, but now that the origin is out of the way in this film, hopefully there's potential that Deadpool 2 could be an even better film, in my opinion at least. Like I said, happy for those that love this movie, but personally, I just didn't feel the same way. And I'm going to give Deadpool two and a half out of four stars. I really, really wanted to enjoy this movie, but I just didn't. That's my honest opinion on this film. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Deadpool. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!